and check my belt tension and make sure it's tight enough and then I'll show you what we're going to do and what we want to consider uh, for the rest of the install procedure. Okay, now the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab my little hose clamp here. And then I'm just going to set him back on and I'm going to put it right where he's imprinted. That's going to make sure it kind of seals the best way it can. Right, like that. And then I'll take my hose here. I'm just going to set them on here. And guys, also be careful uh, not to get the power steering fluid on any of the belts. If you do, take some brake cleaner and just make sure you spray it off real well. It's not really good for the belts at all. So, and then the next thing we'll do is I'll take these 10 millimeter bolts here and I'm just going to run those guys down and also be real careful because I'm pretty sure this is aluminum I know this piece right here this mount piece is aluminum so just be careful when you're tightening those 12 millimeter bolts and also these 10 millimeter bolts you just want to be careful not to strip those threads because if you do it's gonna be a pain kind of replacing that piece well not a pain but just uh, finding the part and that sort of thing so I'm just gonna run that guy down right like that and then these guys don't need to be uber tight so I'm just gonna you know be careful here I'm gonna uh, that feels good right there and then that feels good right there so there we go we've got everything all tightened up and now I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the fluid and uh, what you're gonna do uh, with that sort of thing okay so we're just about ready to put the power steering fluid back in but first let's go ahead and just kind of spray Spray everything down here with some brake cleaner. That helps get everything nice and cleaned off and brake cleaner, it dries really quick. And so we don't have to worry about that staying on there for too long. And, but before you put the power steering fluid on, I'm gonna show you something here. Now we're gonna look down in this power steering fluid reservoir. Now if, if yours is looking something like this one and you see those metal chips down there, that, that power steering pump was really messed up and there's lots of metal chips. So we're gonna wanna remove this guy right here. And how we'll go about doing that is we're gonna just undo those two hose clamps. I'll pull those two hoses off. And this guy, I'm pretty sure he just lifts right up out of his thing there. And he does, we can see there. I'm just gonna pull up and he's gonna lift out. So I'm gonna spray him with brake cleaner empty him out make sure he's really clean and hopefully that will prevent any damage to our new power steering pump so other than that um well once I'm done doing that I'll show you what you want to know about putting the new power steering fluid in that reservoir with your new power steering pump okay guys and one more thing I just want to mention real quick if you do do what I did and use like a bunch of brake cleaner clean this guy out real well another thing I want to do is just kind of pour some new new power steering fluid in there. Just kind of make sure you shake it up real good. Make sure you rinse out all that brake cleaner because you don't want that. So just uh, put some new fluid in there just a little bit, just kind of rinse it around and then empty out in your catch tray there. So now uh, I'll tell you what you need to know about putting the new power steering fluid in. All right, so now we're just gonna fill our power steering pump reservoir up with the new power steering fluid. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna fill it up and then we will make sure to start the car. And when we start the car, the power steering pump will pull this fluid through and it'll pull it into itself. And you might be thinking, well, do I need to put power steering fluid in the power steering pump itself? And you actually don't because it comes pre-lubed up with that kind of stuff there. So you're, you're safe just leaving it as is and starting it and letting it pulled in there itself. Now you're going to want to watch the fluid and once we start it, it's going to suck the fluid down a little bit and we're going to want to add accordingly and just make sure it's at the maximum fill line by the time it's ran for a little bit and it's been able to cycle some of that power steering fluid in there. So just make sure we got the full and the low levels right here on the side of the thing here. So like I said, just make sure it's full and that's pretty much it. Go ahead and put your cap on. Apparently my guy's lost his cap here. We're gonna have to definitely do something about that, but. Okay guys, and I also wanted to add something here real quick. I just realized that my customer here had provided me with a regular power steering fluid. Now this is not a good thing because Hondas do not like regular power steering fluid. They like Honda power steering fluid. So at AutoZone Advance, your local parts store, they will have a power steering fluid. It doesn't have to be from the dealership, but uh, Honda has a specific power steering fluid that it's going to want to use and it will mess stuff up if you put it in there. So just make sure you use the Honda power steering fluid, not just your regular power steering fluid. So 
Okay guys, and a quick little note I want to add here. I uh, found a solution for our power steering fluid reservoir cap here. You can take a cap off of kind of like a brake fluid aerosol cleaner can. Um, anyone that, it's got the two little notches like that. I have uh, quite a quite an array of different caps here and I found this, this cap particular right here fits really well. See, you kind of want to stick it on there, it doesn't want to go on there. You really got to push down. Oh, and there we go. It's on there and it sits really tight. So it works really well. It's not coming off. So yeah, that's the solution. Um, if, if you've lost yours by chance, then uh, that's what you can do to cover your power steering fluid reservoir. So there you go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next time. for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Mountain time, 11 a.m. Central time, 12 p.m. Eastern time and I will see you then.